hello vienna users welcome back once again in the last session we have gone through how to create the legal and the non legal entities into the system as i have mentioned previously that there are going to be various master that needs to be set it up into the system before running the business scenarios into the system like the sales order the shipment or the delivery orders or the invoices so all these masters are must required and we should learn about how these would be generated with the system so in today's session we are going to cover the payment term so let's go through with the definition of the payment term first so in this session we are going to learn how to create the payment terms now what's basically the payment terms are these are the payment terms referred to the condition under which a buyer is expected to pay for goods or services purchased from a seller these terms are typically agreed upon in advance between the buyer and seller and specify the amount due the due date and any applicable discounts or penalties for late payment some common payment terms includes net 30 days it means the payment is due 30 days after the invoice date cash on delivery the payment is due at the time of delivery or receipts of goods payment in advance that is payment is required before goods or services are delivered or provided the specific payment terms agreed upon will depend on to the nature of the transaction the relationship between the buyer and seller and other factors such as industry norms and regulations by establishing clear payment terms both parties can avoid mud misunderstanding or disputes related to payment and ensure a smooth and timely transaction so that is basically the payment term now we'll go through into the system and we'll see how the payment term used to be generated into the vna advantage erp system so lots of uh, theoretical communication now let's move on to the system and in our abc tenant we are going to generate few payment terms so let's move on so i'm at the login area and i'm logging through abc admin let's click on to the login and we'll move on to the landing page and here at the landing page what we need to do we just need to open the payment term window by using the search utility available at the menu so here is the payment term one of the default payment term gets generated by the system during the tenant creation that is the immediate payment term while if you want to create let's say net 30 days you would be able to generate those so let's say i want to generate net 30 days so we'll say net 30 days any document note that you wish that it should print along with the payment term at the level of the sales or the print formats or the purchase or the print formats then you would write the document notes a little description about the payment term if required thereafter we just need to define how many days net days it is it is 30 days so we just mention here 30 days and let's suppose if the customer pays you before the time you know let's say my my payment term is net 30 days but my customer pays uh against the invoice in within 10 days then if you want to give a certain payment discount or not so that can be covered into the system you can define the discount days that in next 10 days if it is paid then there is a going to be discount let's say my discount is for 10 days applicable and i will give further 2% discount so i would be able to set up all 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 these things thereafter if there is a certain grace days that means if if the payment is overdue to the customer and the payment haven't received from the customer in that case if you want to provide a certain grace days or maybe you know later on if during the dunning process if you want to charge something since the dues are overdue to the customer so you would be able to do so using the dunning module into the vn advantage system so that is how we can generate a payment term if i want to generate a certain advance payment term so i would be able to generate that and i can mark advance check box in such a case now there are certain payment terms where you wanted like there is some payment they will pay in advance while some payment they have to pay once they have received the invoice 
so that feasibility is available into the VA system, you would be able to generate such a kind of payment terms. Let's say 50% advance and 50% after invoice delivery. So I would be able to generate that. So I will say 50, 50 is my payment term. I will say 50 percentage advance and 50 percentage after invoice. So I, if I want to generate such a kind of payment terms, I would be able to generate such a kind of payment terms. But in such a case is I need to define the schedules. So I will move on to the schedule after saving the payment term and I will say new record and here I need to define my percentage and the net days. So my first is advance. So I will say advance and my percentage is going to be zero and net days is going to be my percentage is going to be sorry 50 and my net day is going to be in such a case is fifth, uh, zero. So that is the first schedule. Now I need to generate the another schedule that is I want rest 50% payment and it should be let's suppose after 30 days or after invoicing so if you or you you can say let's after 30 days so it would be after 30 days if you want to define a certain discount for this schedule you would be able to define so and you will say save okay so that's the payment term and you would be able to generate such a kind of payment terms let's say it is not invoice after 30 days let's say so that is now absolutely correct so i would be able to define so so that is how we used to generate the payment terms into the vn advantage system i hope you learned this how to create the payment terms into the vn advantage erp system and you would be able to configure by watching this particular video until the next video we are going to cover the payment methods and the other masters till then thanks a lot bye bye